This tutorial is designed for those people who've never used a computer, never mind a word processor, in their lives before. What we're going to do is we're going to bring up a typing program or word processing program and type a simple letter. This thing up here, the pointer, which I'm circling around, is operated by the mouse, which you move around on the desktop and move it down to the start button, which is here, the bottom left hand corner of the screen, and use the left mouse button, just click it once. And up comes a menu. Uh, this is the thing called the menu here. And what we want is all programs. So again, I click on that. The next thing I want is to find accessories. You may have to go up and down to find accessories. But if you click on accessories, you'll find a program down here called WordPad, which, as it says, creates and edits text documents with complex formatting. All terribly worrying, but it isn't worrying in the slightest. With the pointer pointing at it, click on the left mouse button and immediately a new window appears. What we want to do is to start typing a very simple letter. Here we go. Thank you for the very enjoyable evening we spent together last night. Oh dear, we've got some problems here. First of all, I've spelt the word enjoyable wrong. This is the mouse pointer that I've got circling around. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this little pointer, which you notice is a shape of a capital I and is known as an I pointer. See the I there? I'm going to put that between the O and the A and I'm going to left mouse click on it, just like that. Boing! And that moves the flashing line between the letters O and A. Now I can correct the spelling by typing the Y, making it enjoyable. I've got another problem here. I didn't put the D on the end of spend. So put the mouse pointer at the end of spend, left mouse click, and type in D. Oh dear, together is spelt together. So again, click between the A and the T. Now in this case, we want to remove that letter A. And the letter A is at the, to the left of that flashing mouse cursor. And the key on the keyboard you want to use is the backspace key. It's often labelled backspace, often to the top right hand side of the letters on the keyboard, and it has got a left pointing arrow. So, having placed the cursor there with your mouse pointer and left clicking, just hit that backspace pointer once and the A is gone. Now I simply type E and we've got the correct spelling again. Oh dear, I really wanted to say, um, start the letter saying, Dear Mike, so how on earth do I get a line in in front of that top line? It just won't go up. Well, no problem. I take the mouse pointer and just click it in front of the T of thank you. You see where the mouse, where the cursor is now flashing in front of the T? There it is. Now we want to add a line. And the way to do that is to use the enter key. This is one of the larger keys on the keyboard to the right hand side of the letter keys. It's got a, often got a bent arrow on it. Hit that once or twice. I'll hit it once to start off with. Bingo, it's gone down again. And hit it again to get another line. Now I can take the mouse pointer and click it up in the top left hand corner and then begin typing again dear Mike. Oh dear. Mike has lost its capitalization. So I put the cursor to the right of Mike, use the backspace key again to remove the lowercase m, 
then I have to make it capitalised. The way to do that is on the left hand side of the letter keys you will find a key called shift. It may not have that word on it, it may just have an upward pointed arrow. Hold the shift key down and while holding it down press the M key. There we've got our capital M. And I want to go to the end of the letter now but if I start typing it's going to put all the typing in between the letters M and I. I want to put it at the end of the letter. So I use the pointer, click at the end of night. I think we'll have a comma in there. So we'll type the comma, comma. Hit the enter key, that's the bend arrow key to the right of the letter keys, and say, uh, type in, um, will my best wishes. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. But, oh dear, I want to put in a letterhead in front of it again. So we did what we did before. Put the mouse pointer just in front of the D of uh, dear. Don't go food too far to the left so it becomes a right pointed white arrow. You've got to maintain that eye pointer. Click it there and you've got the flashing cursor. We'll go click, click, click. That's fine. That's given us three extra lines. So we click at the top with the mouse pointer there and we're there and we can put in our address. 245 High Street. Now I want a new line. Nowhere. A new line. Hit enter again. Um, and we'll say we live in Flintshire. And our postcode is FL74, um, but I need the capitals again. So hold down that shift key to the left of the uh, letter keys, hold it down and type in F and still holding the shift key down, L. Let go of the shift key and use the number keys along the top of the letter key. FL73. Now we want a space. The space, to get a space, you use the space bar, which is at the very bottom of the letter keys. It's the long bar in the middle. Hit that once, and we go to 7, shift key again, YH. And we've immediately got a uh, an address. We've got a letter. We left a space below, and... We could then print that out simply by going, taking the mouse pointer up to the word file and then coming down to print and say print again and off goes the printer printing the letter out. And in this case I haven't got a printer connected so we won't get the sound effects of the printer and I'm going to get rid of that. I hope this short tutorial has given you some suggestions as to how to overcome your not unnatural initial fear of using a computer and a word processor. Thanks for listening.